Hey everyone, this is Jasmine Price from Solid Foundations Therapy, back with your monthly therapy tip. Well, today this is what I want to talk to you about, emotional regulation. Um, you may ask, what is that? And it's so simple. It's the way that we are controlling our emotions instead of our emotions controlling us. How are we communicating in a healthy way? How are we expressing our emotions in a healthy way? And so one of the tools that I've been using with my clients that I've found to be so helpful is a DB2 intervention called Check Your Facts. Um, I have seen how helpful this tool can be. So let's get into it. The first question is, what event triggered your emotion? It's simple. You're just identifying, okay, an event happened. What was that event? And what emotion came after that? The second question is, what assumptions or interpretations am I now making about this event? I think emotions are wonderful. I think that we should always feel emotions, but I think that sometimes when we allow our emotions to lead us, they can lead us to start thinking things that sometimes are not always true, right? Or allow us to start feeling things that maybe are not always true. I'm not telling you to ignore them, but I am telling you there's a way to healthily express them. So that leads us into our third and final question of check your facts. It's the meat and potatoes, y'all, this question of this checking your facts tool. It is have my emotions right do my emotions and the intensity of my emotions match the assumptions of the situation or do they match the facts of the situation so here's a quick example right say for instance you're sitting down with your partner and you know they're not really talking as much or you're watching a movie and they're not being that engaged maybe you know that's an event that triggered an emotion your interpretation could be well he doesn't care about me or she doesn't care about me or she doesn't want to spend time with me and the third question is really helpful because it's now going to ask you, well, is this an assumption that you're making about that situation or is it a fact? Like what proof do you necessarily have to feel the way that you do, right? And so I have found that this tool is so helpful because now it allows us to take a step back and to really acknowledge, okay, yes, this emotion is here, but is this emotion valid? right and how do i want to now communicate that emotion so that it doesn't now attack or inflict my partner in a way that is unhealthy so guys i hope that you find this tool helpful and remember check your facts